Huawei's watch series has always been impressive. They're really good at balancing form and function, meaning the watches stay pretty and stylish without really sacrificing a lot of features. Now, this year, the Huawei Watch 5 isn't just more durable and stylish, Huawei introduces a whole new feature called XTAP. Now, if you don't know what that is, then you're in the right place because that's what we're talking about today. So let's dive right in and ask the first question. What is XTAP? Huawei defines XTAP as a multi-sensing system that combines ECG electrodes, PPG sensors, and pressure detection. It's the first in the industry to do so. Using the sensor on the side of the watch, you can get full-time readings and also a full health report all in under a minute. Why the fingertip? Huawei says it's actually more accurate than using just your wrist. So what does XTAP record? Well, let's go through the process. Slightly pressing down on the sensor will trigger a countdown to start the whole process. For the first part, you'll have to place your finger on the sensor for 30 seconds. At this time, the ECG and PPG all start working to get your heart rate, SpO2 levels, HRV measurement, and more. Next, you'll have to stay still and comfortable for another few seconds. This step is designed to measure your respiratory rate, skin temperature, and stress index, as well as add to the HRV measurements. Finally, for the last step, you'll have to record your cough. The watch will then use AI to analyze for signs of respiratory strains and other potential irregularities. Once done and dusted, you get a full report right on your wrist. You get a bunch of metrics like heart rate, SpO2 levels, respiratory rate, and skin temperature, which are all essential to measure your HRV. HRV, or heart rate variability, is a tiny variation in time between your heartbeats. Lower HRV indicates that you're tired, stressed, or under some sort of strain. It's quite detailed as it is, but you can get even more insight with the app. The health app is essential if you really want to make the best of your Watch 5 and the X tab. To see your results, just tap on the Health Glance card. You'll see a log of all your scans, which the watch actually uses to compare future results. This gives you better, more personalized insight into your health because you do have past records to look back to and compare if needed. Here you can see things in better detail, what they mean, and even suggestions on how to maintain or improve. You can even add existing symptoms so the watch can consider it when analyzing data. Of course, for even more detail and insight, you can tap on any of the cards inside this app. So that's all fine, dandy, and impressive, but let's talk about XTAP in the real world. So when do you use it? Well, when you're feeling a little bit off about yourself and you're not really sure why. I'm sure we have all those moments. Like me, for example, I tend to get lightheaded when I'm walking around on a hot day, sometimes not even on a hot day. And instead of guessing why, or worse, shrugging it all off, I do a little XTAP check and I see that my skin temperature is rising, my blood oxygen is slightly dipping, and my heart rate slightly rising. So right then and there, I can do something about it instead of waiting for it to get worse. I'm also trying to train myself to do this just before I go to bed. If anything, a daily record of your health should be useful, right? But let's not forget, and I cannot stress this enough, the Watch 5 is not a medical device. Its findings are not at all conclusive. And if you think you need help, always consult a professional. XTAP is a great innovation with promising use, but the design of this watch is also something to talk about. This is the 46mm variant, a little big for me but still gorgeously designed. Sapphire glass protects the display from scratches, and the aerospace grade titanium case makes it lightweight. Animation is smooth, bezels are ultra thin, and brightness reaches 3000 nits. It also comes in this 42mm variant for those who prefer something smaller and sleeker. Both also offer 5 ATM and IP69 resistance. Straps are also interchangeable. But like I said earlier, it's not just pretty, it's functional too. The Huawei Watch 5 offers a host of smart features. One of the more interesting ones is gesture controls. Using pinching and sliding actions, you can answer calls, snooze or mute alarms, control music, snap photos remotely, and more. The Watch 5 also supports eSIM, so you can leave your phone behind. You'll still be able to make calls, stream music, and navigate. The Watch 5 supports offline navigation and full-color maps as well. Strava is also available through Bluetooth Sync. Pair those features together and you've got a great workout partner. Here in the Philippines, we also get NFC access and payment. I was actually able to register my work ID to the watch and that's what I used to clock in and that's it's pretty fun, in all honesty. Now for payment, we do have a couple of options including TNG and Pay and of course Gcash. You get the usual features as well including smart notifications and controls. More apps are also available through the app gallery. All those workout modes are still there, over 100 to be exact, and you even get a 3-month free membership to the Sports Health app with every purchase. 
case. Battery life is another strong suit of this watch. It can last multiple days on a single charge, even with features like GPS, eSIM, and continuous health tracking. You've also got dual battery modes. In all powerful mode, the watch can go up to four and a half days under typical use. If you really need to conserve, extended battery mode offers up to 11 days of use. To top up, the Watch 5 supports 10 watt wireless charging that gives you a full charge in just over an hour. It also works with both Android and iOS, so you don't need to switch phones or ecosystems to enjoy all the features. So that's our quick look at the Huawei Watch 5 and the new X-Tap feature, which we think is a really good addition to an already well-rounded watch. Now, we do have a full review. I'll link it down below, as well as all the other links for this watch, all the details that you may want to know about it. And I guess that's it for me for this video. You know the drill. Subscribe to us if you feel like it. Follow us on our socials and I'll see you next time.